I want to ask you something that I've been waiting to ask you for nearly six years. Alyssa Lucille Hyde. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, we are engaged. Wait, you think I can't even? Oh my God! It's not focusing. Shit. Okay, we got it. Boom. Woo. Guys, the feeling this morning is actually kind of crazy. Yeah. It feels like, I don't know, it feels like we're in a new relationship. Yeah, it do. I we, feel like we just started over. Mm -hmm. We were talking about this last night. Yeah. Because I feel like we had like a long talk last night mm -hmm. before we went to sleep. And I was like, or was you, did you say that or did I say that? Hmm. And I was like, it does feel like brand new. I feel like we both agreed that yeah. it feels like we entered like a new level stage yeah and then it just also feels like like we just started dating mm -hmm. which is crazy like you know kind of like the first again yeah that's kind of how i felt last night yeah like once i like I, I remember like telling her like i don't know why why i waited that long you know i obviously know we were on our time and stuff like that but i was telling her like people should not wait like they should like do it yeah like, if you have any doubts out there or, you know, obviously, like, like I've been telling everybody over the last couple of days who've been helping me with this proposal, asking me questions like that, um, which I'll probably get into in a later video. But I will say, like, we have a dream as the guy of how we want to propose. And sometimes it doesn't align always with the girl's dream because sometimes the girl, they'll just take anything. You you were in love. You're going to say, all right, if it was a, a ring out of a grocery store you're gonna accept it just because you're in love we want to go big or go home and sometimes we end up going home sometimes when you wait too long nothing happens but you could also make strides like you know you can get her a little ring and then upgrade it or you can do a small proposal and then do something big for the wedding like you don't always have to like go big right now mm -hmm. and I think that's so some people kind of get like confused or you like live by the internet and you like see what people do and you like I gotta compete with them so do not compete you're in your own lane and do it when you're ready but also don't take too long to do it yeah and that's that, what he was saying at dinner he I was, was like, saying I don't that know why I waited so long. yeah like you gotta but do I was it. like you didn't wait so long it wasn't overdue it was when you were ready to and wanted to mm -hmm. like I never pressured this man to do anything no I said that and I knew because I knew it was going to happen. I knew like, mm -hmm. you know, our future was going to be us. So I wasn't really like upset about it. I know like some people like think maybe if they don't have a ring, then their boyfriend or significant other isn't serious about them. But in my case, like I did not feel like that. But I do feel like this. I, I don't feel like this is real. Yeah. Like I don't feel like none of this is real. I feel like I'm living a fairy tale. And I was telling him like I'm literally like living my dream life and it makes me so emotional and then even like i couldn't stop talking about the dragonfly <laughs> that was circling this around dragonfly. us Let me push it right. Let me push my it. Dad. It will make me cry <laughs> don't do that <laughs> circling around us. no like it's so weird because like the planner like after everything was done i was talking to the planner because she's also a wedding planner and she was like i was out here since one setting up all these roses there are four thousand roses and we're trying to take some home I'm trying to figure this out now right so we're going to be going home and trying to figure out how we can get just these to the house yeah like i want somebody to ship them to the house yeah but anyway what i was saying was i feel like i'm living a dream and i'm so blessed and i'm so grateful and i'm literally like this is like the most beautiful ring i've ever seen in my life and you could tell, like, this took time. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, it takes time. Oh, it takes time. Now, listen. It took me some time. No, say what you're going to say, baby. I want to say, like, back to the dragonfly, I just felt like <sighs> everything aligned. It August 19th is when he proposed. It was a super moon. It was a blue moon. 
And back to the lady, she said she was working since 1 p.m. There was no dragonflies. The second that we hit the sand, the dragonflies started flying like into the roses. And then once we like stood and like faced each other, it was circling us. And mm -hmm. I was like trying to focus on Charles. Like I was staring into his eyes, but I could see in my side vision, the dragonfly circling us. And I'm like, that's my dad. Like, that's crazy. And it wouldn't stop. Whole time I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Yo, I see this dragonfly and she says, that's my dad. And I'm it like, is. I'm like, girl, that's just a dragonfly. No. But no, it's her dad. I thought I no. felt, I felt, I felt some energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. But might be like our love energy that I just like felt no. like that. I just was like, man. He looked it up after and a dragonfly no, I definitely, is spiritual. And I, I looked it up. I'm like, yo, that is very spiritual of a of uh scott yeah it's very it's very scottish so for you guys who are new to our channel um her dad passed away last year. last year and um really good father figure to me obviously a good father figure to Alyssa because she's talking about him at this date yeah and um we miss him a lot but we felt like yesterday when we uh, when i proposed that he was there with us and confirmed like and everything. confirmed everything and he was like dancing around us like, yeah <laughs> I just feel like he, everything aligned and everything was so perfect. And mm -hmm. I know I said yes, but I blacked out. Like yeah. I, I, the second I saw those roses, I just started bawling. Like I'm actually like, I want to see the video and see like how, yeah. how ugly I look. You did not look ugly. Because I just, <laughs> No, I saw some photos already. You did not look ugly. I was you just crying. Yeah, yeah, but you like, you definitely came out and instantly, <laughs> I'm like, Man, I was like, no, I can't believe this is happening. No, cause you gonna get me like now what what I say? I'm not a super emotional person all the time and I try to get into that mode sometime. Mm -hmm. But Alyssa crying literally like made me like I'm like fuck <laughs> Cause like instantly when she saw the flowers she started like bawling and I'm like, damn. Mm -hmm. This is real. Yeah, it, it was my dream proposal. Yeah. It really Thank was. Thank you, babe. It was a dream. Thank it was you. on the beach. It was on, at sunset. Four thousand yeah. red roses. Like, yeah. What this ring? <laughs> like this is. It's just amazing. Like I feel. I woke up like so happy, and I just cannot wait to continue our life together. Thank real. you. I, I the reason why I did it. Well, everybody's walking by. And I'm naked. My ball is up. <laughs> so look. So we are at the Rosewood Hotel in Santa Barbara. One of the reasons why I wanted to do it here is because I honestly felt like in LA our life changed like legit we found out a lot about ourselves a lot about each other uh, I got really close to her dad here like we were able to bring my aunt here she got really close to my aunt like we really like built like a, a, a real relationship with some people that we kind of didn't have one with yeah in LA and yeah. we really like found out a lot about ourselves and uh, about each other and I felt like LA really showed us that and I felt like we had unfinished business here and this was the unfinished business So I was like, you know what? Like I want to do it in Los Angeles. Well, not Los Angeles, but Santa Barbara because it's up here It's more quiet, but LA is obviously like yeah, it's a lot going beautiful on, but here. That's why I want to do it That's why I want to do it here. Like it's so beautiful. Bro, I have not been able to sleep <laughs> I ain't gonna lie like I haven't slept real shit. Tell them my sleep schedule and don't even lie. You don't even gotta lie like real shit. Okay. Tell, them, tell them my sleep schedule. Okay. Real shit. The reason why we haven't been posting is because I wake up at like four or five in the morning. I go work out and then I'm ready to start the day. While he doesn't even go to bed till like eight, nine, ten a.m. And I don't know what he be doing all night. I ask him. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm working. But I'm like, working on what? Every. This has been for like a month, right? Yeah, a long time. So you want to know some truth? Your proposal was supposed to be in July. Really? But it got pushed back. Because I had some some things happen with my ring. Mm. I had some things happen with my proposal. What I wanted to do because I wanted to change it up a little bit. And but I was like, that's what I've been working on for like the last month and a half, like locking in on it. I already like originally planned this like January February, mm -hmm. but for these dates. But I literally had to like lock in on everything and like how i want things to go and because I, did, I didn't just let her do like everything by herself like i wanted to really like kind of be a part of it mm -hmm. but i've been getting no sleep last night i felt like you can relax oh my bro i felt like last night like 
some of the best sleep. Like I woke up, like I'm still a little tired, but I literally woke up like I'm energized as hell. Like this morning, it's like obviously I'm energized. I'm talking crazy, but like I had no sleep. I have not been getting no sleep. Yeah, now I'm so I know. ready to like relax. I know we can relax. I told you last night though. I said. I feel like a huge like stress off of me mm -hmm. because like I, I've been stressing about this proposal. Like I'm not gonna lie, from the way I want this to look, the ring, uh, you know, certain th certain details. How do I keep this going without Alyssa knowing? And that was my yeah. biggest thing. Real shit. She always told me, I don't give a fuck what we have to plan in our life. This date, kids, marriage, I do not want to know. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? You will not know. Yeah, that yeah, that was my big thing, and I really appreciate him keeping a secret because I know sometimes it's it's hard when you live with the person, mm -hmm. and you know you do what we do. But I said no matter what, I don't want to know shit. And he told me we were going to a Facebook event, and I was kind of weirded out at first because he got me the dress that I wore. He picked out, and I was like, "This a gown like for a Facebook event? Like I feel like that's a little too much." He's like, "No, like it's the Facebook events for us." And I was like, "Okay." Yeah, so I was, I like, you know what's crazy? What is that? Like I honestly like I was using the Facebook people and the show people. So like, uh, I don't know how you didn't catch me up because like sometimes I'll say like, oh, we're doing the show thing. And then I'll say, we're doing the Facebook thing. Uh, and I'm like, oh my I God, never I, even can't noticed. Keep up. I can't keep up. But I, cause I kept saying like the thing, we're meeting these people. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because at the same time we have show people that we work with and we have yeah. uh, Facebook people that we work with. So it's kind of, so Yeah, so I like really like, <laughs> We have we have show people that we work with. We have Facebook people that we work with personally each yeah. side. So it's like you would never really know because yeah, I'm the one that normally talk to all of them. And then I rely the messages to Alyssa because she be doing her thing. So <sighs> it's crazy. It was everything. I'm so happy, and I'm gonna be doing this. Like y'all are gonna be annoyed with me. I'm just gonna go like talk like this. Oh all my the time. god. <sighs> What? She is gorgeous. I didn't even like know I had a dream ring, but I have a dream ring. This is my dream ring. Like, if you look at all those photos I used to send you back in the day, you will see that ring. Really? Yeah, but you won't see like the C and A. Yeah, and I think the fact that like it's so, it's just like us, like Charles yeah. and Alyssa forever. Yeah. I love that. And the roses were in an infinity sign. Like, yeah. I kept on looking. I was like, is that, like, an infinity sign? Like, that is just so beautiful. Mm-hmm. I love you. I love you, too, baby. Oh. Fuck that filming. I gotta <laughs> get a kid. Hold up. No. <laughs> no. Okay, should we tell them about dinner real quick? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> because that what? was so funny. Wait, okay, go tell them. So, we are at, like, one of the bougiest hotels in the world. No, no, like... like it... Like... Bruh. Like, this is a difference. Like, this is what rich. The There's billionaires. That? Oh, I forgot. I have to tell you one thing. What? Tell me why the planner. Yeah. Her name's Nicole, right? Yeah. She was telling me. This is the craziest story, too. I cannot forget this. Cameron Diaz. Yes. When she was putting up the roses, she was telling people to move. And she had to tell Cameron Diaz to move. Yeah. And she was like, oh, how do I yeah. get it? And then Cameron Diaz was like, oh, can, can I, Yeah. I'll no. <laughs> Cameron, Cameron Diaz also offered to help. No. With the, with the roses. Swear to God, that's what they told me out there. I'm like, bro, that's crazy. That is insane. I'm telling you, like, if you come to this hotel, the Rosewood Hotel in Santa Barbara, like, this is where uh, Courtney and Travis got engaged at, right? And you'll see, like, all big people have their weddings here. Those celebrities that we all know and love. We we even had, like, some supporters here. Some from Forever Squad was here. Yeah. That was working here. I'm like, dang. Okay. It's crazy, but... Hold up, hold up. But I want to say, I want to say, like, talk about crazy and bougie. Hey, we bougie, but we ain't bougie. Yeah, this is the richest hotel uh, we've ever right. been at. These people are loaded, okay? Hey, I'm trying to get like this. Like at a different level. I'm trying and... to get like them. So the dinner... <laughs> so the dinner... The dinner was like four courses. Oh, my God. And you get to... There's like five courses each you pick from, whatever. We don't know. Like, we like we did not know what any of this stuff yeah, was. Yeah, like, so straight I just, up. Like, if, I, if there was a word that was, like, kind of, like, yeah. familiar to me, I was like, I'm just going to get this. Okay, hold this for a minute. I think I got a picture or something. I, I wish. It was, like, very... It's a, It was a very dark restaurant, yeah. so I feel like we couldn't, like, do flash photography. Yeah, no. <laughs> but when I tell you this food was, one, crazy. Two, tasted terrible. Oh my god, it was so bad. I'm like, 
like, babe, look. Do these rich what? folks like really babe, like do they this know how shit? To eat? We was like, we was like, okay, listen. After we leave here, do you want to order McDonald's? Yeah, we need the DoorDash McDonald's. DoorDash McDonald's. Look, y'all, look. Look at this right here. I don't know what they thinking. They said this was a crab salad. Oh, they said this was king crab. King and I crab said, salad. I said, wait, where's the king crab at? One piece of crab. This is a t tiny. That's like the. Tiny little piece of crab. <laughs> that's like the piece of crab that's in like the. Like the little shell. The little, the little part shell. Outrageous. I had duck. And it, it sucks because I had duck after Alyssa already fed sushi a duck head and I watched it. And I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> He's like this. <laughs> like we're eating it because Mind like, you, it's like super red inside and I don't eat red. Yeah. I eat fully cooked. Yeah. It was fun because we were just laughing the yeah. whole night and like we were trying the food and like... Yeah, like I wish we could have recorded that, but it was like that type of party. It was, it was bad, but the service amazing. They amazing. surprised us with like sweet treats and congratulated us. It was. He's looking at me like. <laughs> you talking about sweet treats? <laughs> Look, we came back to this, and we didn't even, we didn't even try. We didn't even try it until this morning, right now. When I got up to pee, look. Because we already knew. Look, that. I got up to pee, oh, and I tried a little bit, and I said, "Listen, Wait, I they didn't... need to stop serving candy in here." <laughs> Tell me how it tastes for real. <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> hey, they don't know how to like like billionaires don't know how to eat. Like y'all need like... to come over to our house. We go feed y'all, bro. <laughs> Like real like shit. It ain't gonna insane. it ain't gonna be nothing but a two hundred thousand dollars plate. Cause y'all paying it. Uh, like, come on, man. Nah. But forever squad, man. We wanna say we love y'all. Yeah. We wanna say we appreciate y'all. And like I said, none of this stuff is possible without <laughs> without y'all. No, it really isn't. No, seriously, it's not. Like I said, I really feel like we're living our dream and it's all from the help of you guys. Yes. supporting us and none of this seems real to me i'm still in shock but i'm so grateful i'm so happy I'm, I'm so blessed like i couldn't be happier i'm the happiest girl in the world right now nope thanks babe i appreciate it i mean i'm happy i'm able to do that for you <laughs> i know oh. all right guys well y'all know what that means that commenced the video Man, we gotta figure out how we're gonna get this tequila bottle and these roses yeah. back to our house. Cause we took this shot before we went to dinner. And I feel like we need to keep that bottle as like a, this is what we drank out of the day we got proposed to. I like doing that stuff. And yeah. I keep, I keep like a little box of all our like memories. So I wanna like, I wish we could take all of these home. Like what? I know. Forever Squad, I wish I could like, you know what'd be cool? You don't, okay, never mind. You don't think I'm crazy. No, say it. If we like ship these to our house. Yeah. And we have, I don't know how many we have here, but we give one to every, every like supporter. I mean, yeah, we Now could. that would they, be hard. If they don't die before. But it would, it would be like from us, you know? Yeah. Oh, like from our proposal? Yeah. I don't know how much our, like how many roses are here right now, but there were 4,000 roses out there. Shit. 4,000 red roses? I did it. I did that. Long stem? What they say, I did that. <laughs> 4,000 long stem roses. Yeah, that was a lot. I bet. When she said 4,000, I said, oh, I already know. <laughs> she gave me that. Hey, listen. Hey. I'm like 4,000 red long she stem made, roses. Hey, y'all, uh, she said, when she gave me that, uh, that bill, she gave me that bill earlier this year, she said, on the thing I said, no, it said no refunds, no exchanges. <laughs> I said, this got to be it. That's why we got to take some. Hey, listen, this is my only proposal I'll ever do. And this is the only woman that I'll ever be with for the rest of my life. So you deserve each and every single one of them roses and each and every dollar that I spent. Seriously. Thank you. So. Thank you. I'm so happy. Let me gotta figure out what we're gonna do with these roses, that ass. Yeah, we should call. Not I'm sure joke. they've done crazier for these people. Uh, for sure. They like low-key probably have. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, we love you. We love you. Thank and, uh, you so much. We'll Go see on. you guys in our next video. Adios.
This is my new thing. <laughs>